celebrate a special event or even to mark a sad occasion. I mean, food is such a central element of our life here in Southeast Asia. So this book um, really records the kind of food that, that the average traditional family in this region. And we invited um, our, our contributors to share recipes of their own so you'll get recipes for Nakagama, a chef walked his head when he was a child, in which he sold at school to his schoolmates, who became a humble family. We have um, dishes like, well, Martin's mother, Mrs. Kobe, shared a recipe for cheese soup and porridge, and she said, you know, help it her children when they work well. So we, these are dishes that we hope are, are dishes that give some insight into ways and also because it also gives you a sense of how we share our food. It isn't an individual meal, but an individual person. It's often food prepared communally, often the entire village comes together to the meal for many. Um, so it's, it's that kind of dishes that we hope um, we will excite you with and uh, show you a little more about what the food of South Asia is like. But they will be introducing to us this afternoon. Please share genes. You can tell us a little bit about the food of the Philippines. I think we're not very familiar with the flavors, the kind of dishes that are signature of the Asian Okay. Well, the cuisine of the Philippines is actually very interesting as far as the history and the culture is concerned. Because the Philippines has been under uh, Spain for 300 years, and then you had the Japanese occupation, and then the American occupation of that. So all of these different uh, cultural occupation obviously has contributed to the cuisine of what Philippine cuisine is today. And we will be seeing later the use of garlic, the use of uh, pork and chicken, and then some added Asian ingredients like turmeric and ginger and the fish sauce that I'm sure a little bit you know. It really is a blend of European American and Asian dishes all together. So what, you, you have to try at the time of year. Have you, have you noticed uh, maybe some... Particularity? Yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. Um, again, the use of uh, fish sauce, the use of ginger and garlic together with a fish that we will be cooking later. It is called gray fish. And uh, the turmeric is a very important ingredient there. That's right, I'm going to say bread. Yeah, it's quite a long time. And I cook Vietnamese food since I was a kid. And uh, it's not hard to find uh, ingredients here. It's actually a lot easier now than it was before. You can find you know, fish easily, coriander, and things like that in the supermarkets or at the NTC. Um, and how, I mean, how, how would you describe it? I mean, what, what's what does it taste like to you? Uh, Hallmark. Hallmark was, you know, fish sauce, about half that fish sauce. It tends to be spicy. So we use a lot of chili. Um, morning, lunch, you know, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and dinner. So it's half that. Um, and then the other one 